In this video, we're going to solve this optimization problem in business and economics. So here we have a stereo manufacturer who has determined that in order to sell X units of a new stereo, the unit price must be P of X, which is equal to 500 minus X dollars. The company also determines that the total cost of producing X units is given by C of X, which is equal to 4,000 plus 2X. Let's answer the following questions. How many units must the company produce and sell in order to maximize profit? What is the maximum profit? And what price per unit must be charged in order to realize the maximum profit? There is a two-step strategy in solving optimization problems. The first step is to write our objective function, that is the quantity that we want to maximize or minimize, in terms of a single variable and determine the domain of our objective function. And the second step is that we apply maximum and minimum principles such as closed interval method, first derivative test, or second derivative test to find the maximum or minimum value of our objective function. Let's perform this procedure to solve this problem. First, Take note that profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. And our total revenue can be obtained by multiplying the quantity demanded times price per unit or unit price. So if we denote our profit or total profit function as a P of X and our total revenue function as R of X and total cost function as C of X, then our P of X is just equal to R of X minus C of X. Since X is the number of units to be produced and sold, then our revenue is equal to this quantity X units times the price per unit which is given by 500 minus x minus the total cost function which is equal to 4000 plus 2x in this case the grouping symbol is very important because it is preceded by a minus sign so this product here is equal to 500x minus x squared and then removing the grouping symbols here we change the signs of all the terms within the grouping symbols. We have here minus 4,000 minus 2x. And writing this in decreasing powers of x, we have here negative x squared. And then 500x minus 2x, so that is equal to 498x, and then minus 4,000. So our goal in this problem is to maximize the profit function, p of x which is equal to this one. And what is the domain of this function? We can consider the domain of this function to be the open interval 0 to infinity. So here we are assuming that the company can produce as many stereo as possible. And why didn't we include the 0? Because it doesn't make sense that uh, when uh, we produce nothing, then the price per unit will be equal to 500 minus 0, which is equal to $500. Now, let's apply a maximum and minimum principle to find the maximum value of this profit function. So the candidates that will give us the maximum profit are the critical numbers of this profit function. So what are the critical numbers again? These are the elements of your domain where the derivative is either zero or does not exist. So we compute for the derivative and the derivative of this function is equal to negative 2x plus 498. 
since this is just a polynomial and it always exists so to find the critical numbers of p we just equate this derivative to zero and we get negative 2x equal to negative 498 so that is dividing both sides by negative 2 we get x equals 249 therefore the profit function has exactly one critical number in this open interval 0 to infinity. So if we have a local extremum at this critical number, we are sure that it is an absolute extremum. And to determine whether this critical number gives us a minimum or a maximum, we apply second derivative test. So we compute for the second derivative of p. So we use this uh, derivative here. So let's compute the derivative again to give us the second derivative of p. And the second derivative is just equal to the derivative of this, which is equal to negative 2. So the second derivative is always negative. This is for any value of x. So since the derivative at this critical number is equal to zero which means that the tangent line is horizontal at that critical number and the second derivative is negative which means that the graph is concave down at that critical number so it follows from the second derivative test that the profit function p has an absolute maximum at x equals 249 now we're ready to answer all the questions in this problem. So first question, how many units must the company produce and sell in order to maximize the profit? Then the answer is 249 stereos because this is the value of x that will give us the maximum value of our profit function p. Second question, what is the maximum profit? Then this is just the value of our profit function at this critical number x, which is equal to 249. So using this definition of our profit function p, we'll get here negative 249 squared plus 498 times 249 minus 4,000. And this is equal to $58,001. And lastly, what price per unit must be charged in order to realize the maximum profit? So what is our price function? So when the company sells X units, the price must be 500 minus X. So using this price function, 500 minus X, we get P of 249. This is the price function not the profit function which is denoted by capital P so this is equal to 500 minus x which is 249 that is equal to 251 dollars per stereo in summary the company must produce 249 stereos and sell it at a price of 251 dollars per stereo in order to realize the maximum profit, which is $58,001.